Good afternoon, guys. It's working. Bringing you a quick update on Bitcoin. Hope you guys are having a wonderful afternoon. Uh, we're looking at Bitcoin to the US dollar, just the one day chart on Coinbase. And I wasn't going to do a video, guys, but uh, I thought uh, we had something happen in the market that justified it. Um, and uh, I've had a couple questions on this. So I'm going to go ahead and run this video. Um, last time we spoke, Bitcoin was huddled right up against, of course, resistance. Um, I taught out resistance at about between 45, or excuse me, between 84. 84 and 8500 we'll split the difference call it 8450 and that's exactly where price has been attempting to get through if we come in here and we look at the four hour chart we kind of zoom in here guys we can see we had another retest of that area kind of a little double top here um, another rejection nothing too hard at this point but the area that i can't stress enough in my opinion the two areas that we're watching as i pointed out yesterday guys this area right down here between about 75 7600 and of course our area up here that we just discussed at about 80 uh 8450 8450 um you know the one of these two needs to get a decisive break and if and when that does happen guys that's going to be a signal to either go long or go short it's going to be a signal that we're going to be coming down or we're going to be possibly coming up um, because there's above here there's just not as we've talked about numerous times guys there's just not a whole lot of resistance um, as we get above 8500 the next major area of resistance would be that 10,000 area right up here this prior swing high and of course we know 10,000 is a good psychological support so, or uh, psychological number um, so you know coming back it would make sense that that area would act as resistance so that really is the next area that I'm looking for if price if we get a decisive break above 8450 and again by decisive I mean a daily candle both opening and closing we can wick above it but i want to see a daily candle both opening and closing above 8450 if that happens that's going to be your signal to go long <clears throat> pardon me to the downside zooming in here to the four hour as i pointed out yesterday guys we have this area right here at approximately 70 uh 7500 ish 70 you know 75 7600 and of course that was a major area that was not a major but that was an area of resistance on this overall structure here that was resistance came up and then of course what was resistance started acting as support textbook um and you know that was bullish now if we do break back down below this guys i think it'll be a rather quick drop possibly down the the first area that i can see it dropping down it's going to be somewhere around 7,000 to 7,100. That's a possibility, but there's really not a lot of support there. Really, the next a, uh, the next area of major support is going to be down here at about 67 to 6,800. And of course, that's where I've got uh, buy orders. As I told you, I've got buy orders laddered from that point all the way down to 6,000. Um, so, you know, if we ever do get down there, of course, we'll take advantage of that. But if this does break, if we get a decisive daily candle closing below 7,500, guys, I am expecting that drop down to about 70, uh, 67 to 6,800 at least. To the upside, of course, you um, we just discussed that this thing could go parabolic there's no question about it but let's go ahead and look at the reason that i'm really um uh doing this quick update guys um in uh Looking at shorts here, you can see that shorts just fell off the board here pretty drastically. In fact, by drastically, I'm going to go ahead and measure it exactly. I think at about what is it, about 39%. Let's see. 30, actually almost 41%, guys, uh, 41%, 40.9%. Um, so yeah, w w this was a massive drop in shorts, but that's not necessarily the, the strange thing about this, guys. What's, what's rather strange about this drop in shorts is, is how quickly it happened. If I zoom in here to the 15-minute chart, you can see it all happened at one time, guys. So this is this is one uh, one big player dumping all his shorts all at once. Typically, what happens when you dump your shorts, guys? Typically, when you dump your shorts, you buy, right? That's how you know. That's how you. That's how you close your short position. You buy. So, if we look at when this happened, this happened at uh, let's see, on May the sixteenth at uh, three thirty-five UTC. So, let's come over here and check what was going on with price at three thirty-five UTC. And let me just zoom in here to the thirty minutes so we can really emphasize the point here. Uh, May the sixteenth, three thirty. So, price was sitting right here when this happened 330 this candle right here not this candle where it even dropped but this candle right here and price was already kind of on its way down but really this candle was was extremely and again i'm on the 30 minute this candle was extremely insignificant guys you would think a 40 percent liquidation in shorts like that guys you would think that that all that buying would cause a at least a temporary spike in price and really nothing we got we got literally almost nothing during that, and then following that, of course, price continued to come down, and you know that that continues to uh, you know to support the theory that you know when when shorts drop, when the market is betting on uh, on uh, price going up, oftentimes price goes down. When shorts stack, when the market is betting on price going down. 
price often goes up. Um, so the fact that we've had that that massive degree, that massive drop in shorts, but again, it was only by one person. Um, you know, it, it tells you just how you know possibly manipulated this market is. Po it, 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 there's something, but the price didn't move. There's just something fishy about all of this, guys. There's something very strange um, about all of this. Yes, price did end up coming down. Yes, that does support my theory. When shorts go down, price also goes down. But you would expect a a a larger move in price to the upside, at least temporarily. We did not get that, and I I just find that very very strange. And it's kind of a cautionary tale, guys. I don't want to I don't I don't, don't want to spread any FOMO or FUD um, at all. Um, you know, but uh, I ju I just want to point out the the how peculiar peculiar that is. Um, and just, you know, just kind of to say, uh, that to say, be careful. You know, I'm seeing some of this say, uh, some people say they're taking that as a bullish sign. I, you know, I, I personally, I don't. When, it's, when I see, you know, not only short stacking, or excuse me, not only shorts falling off the board, but if we come over here and we look at long positions, long positions had been stacked. Now, yes, they fell off here a little bit, but overall, you know, long positions have been have been relatively stacked. And now looking at the ratio between longs and shorts, we've got longs outpacing shorts significantly. So if price does come down here, yes, we can call that manipulation. We can call that people trying to liquidate, uh, liquidate the long positions if it does end up dropping here significantly. If price goes up in the face of shorts dropping like that, I think that would be a, a fairly healthy sign, guys, that would tell you that, you know, uh, a lot of the manipulation that we've seen in the past, it's not quite as easy to do now. If we come over here and we look at the overall daily volume, we're sitting at 33.5 billion. If daily volume closes that high, that would be a new daily volume high. We'll have to wait and see if that ends up happening. Um, right now, our all-time high in daily volume is sitting at about 32 billion. Um, that happened on May the 14th, so we'll have to wait and see how it plays out today. But yeah, we're, we're currently above that. Um, and you know, the higher the volume is, the 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 more difficult it is to manipulate price. You know, the, the more people that are swimming, you know, the more people in the, the, the more people that are in the market, the harder it is to move the market. It just makes sense, right? So, well, I'm I'm very interested to see how this ends up playing out, guys. Um, I really am. I think a break above here in the face of those shorts dropping would be a fairly fairly bullish sign. Um, but uh, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, you know, typically a, a a breakdown in shorts like that with long stacking, I would be looking for for uh, for market makers to try to liquidate those long positions and drive price down. And we're really not seeing, again, with the significant move in short time, we're really not seeing a, uh, a synonymous move in price, which again is very peculiar, but we're going to have to wait and see. Um, all that being said, all we have is TA to look at, guys. And TA, is, again, is telling me we've got two major zones that we're watching. As I said, guys, uh, 75 to 7,600 and 84 to 8,500 to the upside. A decisive break in either one of those would be a bullish or bearish sign here in the, in the, uh, in the short term. Again, by decisive, I mean a daily candle, both opening and closing. Coming back in, looking at our uh, daily RSI, guys, we can see, of course, I pointed this out yesterday. We can see that we're showing, um, obviously, price created a higher high. Looking at the RSI, we had kind of a double top here, um, which, again, is uh, is bearish divergence here. Um, and now we haven't, again, have not yet seen this plays out. We had a little bit of a drop here, and we had a little bit of bearish divergence on the four hour, which basically I think this is cleared at this point. But overall, this daily bearish divergence has not yet been confirmed. We'll have to wait and see. I do think it'll be confirmed if and when we drop below that 75, 7600 uh, zone here. Um, if that does happen again, guys, as I said, I think we're coming down to about 67.50. But you know, this is showing some leg. Bears are showing some leg. Bears are coming out here, trying to uh, trying to get back in the fight. And it'll be very interesting to see if they end up doing if they uh, if they're able to. So well, I got you here, guys. I'm going to go ahead and quickly go over the. Uh, Moving averages, exponential moving average. Nothing really changed since yesterday, guys. We got the uh, the eight week. We're looking at the weekly chart now. The eight week EMA crossing above the 55 week EMA here. We we are still watching the 21 week EMA to see if it can get above the 55. Um, again, all showing signs of strength. All very very bullish so far. Um, you know, nothing uh, nothing really has changed uh, since yesterday. Looking at the daily chart, we are seeing a little bit of uh, again the bears trying to come to life here. We'll have to wait and see kind of how this plays out here. But of course, with the uh, at the top of the extended Bollinger Bands here, you would expect a little bit of a correction uh, without question. I'll be watching. Uh, uh, the eight-day, or excuse me, yeah, the eight-day EMA here to see if it uh, if it does act support that's sitting right around that area of uh, that that kind of that. Uh 
uh, that plane that I was talking about, whether or not we did a breakthrough, we're sitting at about uh, 7,500, 7,600. It's really right above that eight-day EMA. We'll have to wait and see if that starts acting as support. But uh, but again, nothing too nothing too significant to show, guys. Right now, um, you know, everything looks strong. We got the uh, the uh, eight-day EMA above the 21, above the 55. Um, just nothing but uh, nothing but strength showing so far. And we'll have to wait and see kind of how this ends up playing out, guys. But uh, but overall, the main purpose of today's video, guys, was to discuss the uh, the the tremendous drop in shorts because I know I had a lot of questions about that. Um, and actually, the first person to bring that to my attention when I woke up at like 5 30 this morning um looked at my uh look at my uh uh, announcements was, I'll just give him a quick shout out here, was uh, CNG on YouTube. He was the first kind of to draw that to my attention with, uh, with shorts dropping significantly. So thank you to CNG. Um, until next time, guys, we want to wrap it there. Uh, trade safe. Take care of yourselves. This is working. Signing out.